Hello guys, I'm back with uh, another review and this is the Dark Knight Joker from um, DC Multiverse McFarlane. Um, got this guy from Nerd Base for he was retail at £38. Um, with what he comes with, I think it's a pretty decent price to be honest. Um, he comes with a lot of like the diorama pieces and stuff that are really cool. Um, he also comes with this whole background that I've got is what he comes in in the box so you get a nice diorama with him as well um, which is pretty good uh, and obviously if you're going to display him on the shelf you could have this behind him um, I'm going to use it as a diorama piece for uh, photography and stuff like that but um, let's get into what he comes with so obviously like most McFarlane, comes with his card and stand. Um, he also comes with a load of different hands. Um, he comes with his handcuffs, which are just plastic. They're just grey plastic, which is kind of boring. But um, nonetheless, uh, you have to take the uh, hands off to put these on um, to get them over the hands. Uh, he comes with like a pointing finger or like a card holding hand um, gripping hand for a gun fist uh, another trigger finger another pointing finger and another fist and the phone as well now he I mean that phone is really bad like come on it's not even got any it's just plastic a black bit of plastic um he could have come with a card maybe some um like playing card um like he's holding on this one but um it didn't but it's probably quite easy to make one um comes with this chair the table put that to the side for now um, and the other chair that he's on um, so the actual figure himself it's a weird one um, I'll go over it but I don't know whether it's just this one but he come with a very oily it's, a, it's just got oil around the joints and stuff which is really strange and the top half here feels really oily as well it's just, it's just a weird um feeling to this figure um but i mean he's he's all right i mean he's not the best um the best joker i've got is the arkham one but face wise i mean it looks all right i mean looks a bit too smooth um see what i mean it doesn't look aged enough kind of it's not his his face paint isn't white it's more like a skin tone which is really strange um yeah i just i just don't think this face does it justice really it's a bit of a strange um face paint on him which doesn't really look right but the rest of the figure looks okay um articulation wise i mean it goes up that far he hasn't got any um butterflies or anything like that um goes up that far back that far forward that far so you can actually get him in a clapping position um he's got double jointed elbows and he's got a hinge on the wrist, which kind of works, kind of doesn't. It looks a bit strange. Um, legs go out a long way, like most McFarlane. And back quite a way as well, and forward. Um, like most of them, they're soft in the middle, so they've got, you can kind of bend them quite a bit as well. He's got double jointed knees, which are quite thick knees as well. So he's got that weird joint and they're very clicky as well. Um, his feet go 
back that far, forward that far, and he has got that toe uh, hinge as well. I mean, he's a he's a decent enough figure. Uh, could have been a lot better though. Um, could have looked a lot better. I just feel he doesn't he doesn't look like the Joker from the film. Really, he looks kind of. <coughs> He, look, he looks like a comic version of the film one, um, if you get what I mean. But, um, I mean, he's, he's all right. Um, his skin paint, the paint on his hands and stuff, is done really well, like dirt-wise and stuff like that. But um, I just think the face paint on his actual face is, is kind of a bit off. It's not white enough, it's not pale enough. Um, but I could fix it, but I probably won't. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. So I um, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.